Affinity Publisher is here. It was a two year wait for this piece of software for me. And I am excited to share with you why I think this is one of the best out there. The beta version of Affinity Publisher was released on Thursday, just like Seraph said, before the end of August. It is a free version for anyone to install and try out. I have the download link in the description below. Oh, and also don't forget to subscribe. Hello there, this is Mike from PrestoMic and in this episode of Affinity Publisher, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a book or a magazine cover. Let's open the application and create a new document. I'm going to stick with the default options for this episode, but you can change whatever you like. You can also choose to switch to the CMYK color profile if your publication is going to be printed. Now we have a blank page to work on. To make things simple, we are going to use the picture frame tool and the place image tool to create the base for the cover. Select the picture, picture frame tool and drag a frame across the entire page. With the frame still selected, click on the place image tool, browse for the image you want, click open. Your picture will be placed inside the frame. You can use a slider to adjust the zoom or double click on the image with the move tool selected to adjust the position. Remember, use the slider on the screen, double click on the image to adjust the position. Now let's add some text to the cover. Because what good is a cover without any text, right? We need a title and some subheadings to complement the title. For this purpose, I'm going to use the artistic text tool selected. Now click and drag in an area to a size where you want the text to appear. You can always adjust the parameters later and uh, we'll look at that in a different video. To change the color of the text, select it, click the fill option in the text menu. Use a color picker to pick a color from the image itself. Now I'm going to change the font to something else, something more bold and prominent. You can choose whatever you like. Bebas is a good font if you have that. I'm going to use a different font now to create a subheading. I don't want the entire page to look monotonous, right? Notice that I can use layers just like designer or photo to create my design. I'm duplicating them. Changing the text. Simple. Easy peasy. Well, in the next episode, I'm also going to show you how to align the text, style it, create filler text, and more. So be sure to subscribe to be notified when the new episode is uploaded. So there we have it a complete cover in just under 5 minutes. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.